the three Stravinsky ballets, they are three wonderful, unique masterpieces, and they really changed the world, all in a bit different way. In a way, the Firebird, the first one, it's still, it has one leg in the late Romanticism. It, it's, I think for me, the, the great last late Romantic work, where, of course, Petrushka completely changed everything, and especially in terms of harmony. Right, the Spring, of course, is the most famous one of them all, and that changed everything in its brutality, primitive, and especially rhythm. So they all have a very different drive, a very different kind of view, but they, when they come together, I think you really have, you explore all the different varieties of, of how a great orchestra can sound. I love the three scores equally. I love the lyricism of the fire, but this, this, this narrative which, which goes through the whole piece. The Petrushka always fascinated me with its, with its cheerfulness and this kind of quirkiness in a way. It has great character. And then of course the Rides of Spring, which has this just the most immense rhythmic drive that, that's ever, ever written in, in, the, in the history of music. And it's to, to conduct it, to play it, it's every time, everybody feels so good because it's, it's rewarding, it's, it's challenging, it's rewarding, it, it, it's everything together. And then at the end, you always feel really, really energized, even if you're completely exhausted. For the orchestra, it's very, very tough because they really have to play every note with intensity, every note with color, and always making sure the balance is perfect. But I must say, I also have to pace my energy very, very well. So then we have this arch of, of these three ballets. And I think it's wonderful to bring them together because they've, they've, of course, they were commissioned in very different circumstances. When Firebird was commissioned, Stravinsky was very young, relatively unknown, and it was always very different context. And now when we put them all together, it, it really one feels this arch of, of all these three together. That is an homage also to the ideology of the Ballet Russe of Tiagilev, to, to bring, bring people from different art forms together and, and have, have them equal and have them have this kind of musical and all inter-arts inter um, communication or dialogue. It's a wonderful idea. And of course, it's very stimulating for us because we play the pieces a lot. We, we feel that we, we know them and we feel at home with them. But now when we put it together with, with something else in this place, which is nothing like, like um, you know, you, this is the most wonderful place to do it because it, it, it in a way perfectly detaches the music from the concert hall because it's, it's never been music actually for the concert hall. It's been music for, for ballet. And in this place, I think with the films, it would be something, something really quite special. I'm terribly looking forward to the 8th of July. It would be really something for me and for the orchestra, something we've been really looking forward to. But to put this together in this unique place, I, I really can't wait and I, I hope to see you all there.